Hi all, this is a tutorial 12 of Cadence Virtuoso IC 615. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to do the experiment analysis for any circuit. So here uh, for the sake of illustration, I am taking this op-amp which is a fully compensated, uh, fully Miller uh, compensated uh, two stage op-amp and I uh, will be doing experiment analysis for this circuit. And if you can see here, it is a, it's a simple op-amp which you will be finding in your books. So, what I am doing, I am using as a unity feedback, uh, unity, gain, uh, in a, in a unity gain configuration. So, first of all, doing experiment analysis, what we have to do is, uh, we have to choose for instances, um, from analog lib I will be going. So, there I have to take port, port I will be taking and I uh, will be selecting with a DC here ok and uh, one I will be giving at input and one I will be giving at output so let us take it here a bit far and I uh, will be connecting them to ground like this and uh, similarly like this so the next thing is here in this uh, port I will be giving this uh, DC voltage of uh, let us say 0.8 ok uh, it is a uh, I actually I use this for biasing my op amp so that is why I am taking 0.8 volt so next step is uh, I had to uh, take some load here ok so again I will be going here register I will take let us say I will take 1 kilo ohm let it be and uh, I will be connecting it with ground ok similarly I will be taking one capacitor load uh, CAP ok so it is of 1 picofarad ok I will check and save it I will be launching ADL window and I will define this pins here VDD and ground which is the VDD is ground is 0 and uh, VDD is 1.8 ok so next uh, next step is for defining my analysis that is I have to define my S parameter analysis I will go here uh, SP is for S parameter I will just click here and the ports I have to define here in, in first one so port is my input port which is the port 0 and uh, this port 1 ok so I will be going here and uh, I want to sweep frequency from 10 to let us say 10 gigahertz ok and uh, I want to also calculate a noise figure and noise cycle for this experiment and which I will be discussing later briefly. So for that I have to define ports, so output port is here, for output port I want to see with respect to my input port. Uh, so this is it, this is the uh, setup we have to do for experiment analysis and then I will go here, I will run it. Ok, so after uh, execution simulation is over, I will go here direct plot, main form and uh, here if you see only I have defined S parameter analysis, so it is only here. So first uh, there are different other functions which you can use uh, for uh, uh, displaying your S parameters. So this is the S parameter, so, uh, this is for uh, admittance and uh, this is for transfer function VSWR, I will be discussing briefly about some of them and uh, then the type of plot you want, Z smith, Y smith, polar or rectangle and here modify which one you want. So we will take this and I will be adding them to outputs here. So S11 it is plotting and then I will go to S22 then I will just move it a bit here and then I will go to S21 and then S22 ok. So I will split them here. So this is a different uh, S S, uh, S, S plot is S11, S12, S21 and S22. So this is how you do the par S parameter analysis. Okay. Now I have added them to output also. So instead of uh, going again and again plotting here, I will just execute it here again and it will automatically direct plot all the S parameters. Okay. So uh, now the thing is that some of times we use like here only different uh, single output is here. But what if uh, differential output is here or a differential input I am taking in consideration. So for that what I will do is uh, there is one block in 
RF circuit design which you use which is which we call is a uh, balloon balloon is it, it is a conversion from differential to single and a single and to differential so I'll be using that for uh, doing the experiment and it's off for doing the experiment of uh, differential input or differential output so for example here since this is differential input so I had to use it like this so what I'll be doing is I'll be deleting this here and uh, I'll be bringing it let's say I took it like this and uh, say I'm doing it like this and this thing and this thing I'm connecting here so this is how we do for differential input similarly for differential output I take this balloon I'll keep it here and I'll simulate it so I'm going here again now this time I'm doing simulation for my differential input for as parameter okay so you can see the variation see the variation is there when we take differential or single input this is a difference so this is how we do for differential input and differential output circuit okay so now I'll go back to my single ended thing I'll give a brief introduction about the Again, I'll check save it. Okay, so this is here. I'll check save it. I'll go here. Now I'm going to do again this experiment analysis. So this is again experiment analysis. So now I'll again go to this results direct plot main form. So there are some functions which are very important in uh, RF design like this uh, GT is here it stands for transducer power gain and uh, then this GA is here it stands for available power gain and then this GP is here it stands for operating power gain of uh, two port networks then G max is here maximum stability gain and uh, G average is here yeah, so it is a maximum transducer gain so similarly GUMX is here it is maximum unilateral transducer power gain so actually GT is it's a ratio of uh, uh, it's a it's a ratio of uh, average power delivered to load to the maximum available average power at source and this uh, available power gain is a ratio of uh, maximum available power average power at load to the maximum power available at source similarly this uh, GP which is operating power gain of two port network it's a ratio of uh, maximum power delivered at load to the average power entering the network so I'll, I'll be showing these plots uh, and you can see also we VSWR and noise from NF min gain and uh, there is a noise circle is there which we can, which we can also see so first of all I'll be showing this GT I'll and we'll take this modifier as a 10 dB and I'll plot it. Similarly, you can see GA here also. Okay, I'll plot it. And uh, similarly, you can you can you can plot the GP also, G max, G MSG, G U M X. And uh, the next step is I'll be showing you how to plot noise figure that is just uh, mm, NF okay so for NF just select it and uh, take this DBS so this is the noise figure curve for our op-amp okay and uh, then this noise circle okay uh, which is NC here so for NC there is this uh, there are some options which you have to select like this uh, plot type will keep it as Z since uh, that Smith and uh, then this noise level I mean this sweep what you want to see frequency or this noise level so in case of noise circle we will be sweeping this we will be sweeping this noise level 
at our particular frequency which is also called as fundamental frequency let's take uh, i'll take it as 100 megahertz okay so i'll take it and this uh, range i want uh, sweep it from uh, it, let's take it like uh, i want uh, take it from 1 to 10 db okay and with a step of one okay i'll just press okay and uh, i'll plot it so noise figure is here uh, i think uh, this noise circle it didn't got plotted again i'll be going here again main form My circle taking let's take it to two gigahertz take it one to five db and it is two okay okay there was this error in this thing which I didn't see huh? not working mm. let's see this uh, I want plot this PSWR okay again I'll go here and I'll choose this PSWR so one thing I, I I'm going to do is uh, I'm deleting these outputs here so to uh, avoid confusion so VSWR and uh, here I'll take this modifier as this one and uh, both VSW R1 is there and 2 is there I'm going to plot both this is how I can plot there is no no other setting you have to do is okay so again I'll, I'll try this noise circle here so noise circle so that's image and uh, here I'll give 2.4 2.4 gigahertz okay and uh, check is one take it five let's check it 0.25 okay so I'm hoping it will plot but not plotting there is some issue anyways uh, I hope you got the basic idea how to do all these simulations uh, just uh, one more try I'm going to give it uh, Uh, so now it will plot so this is how we plot the noise circle okay we yeah, I was not giving numeric it, it was asking for numerical value here and I was not giving that so showing the error here I couldn't see it so this is how we do experiment analysis in cadence and uh, for both I have shown you for both single ended and differential ended and differential input and differential output we can use it uh, thank you